okay so i have one more question okay so this question is based on like suppose if i have already graduated okay now i have to go for the uh, for my masters okay so is it good like i have i, sh I just drop okay i have done my ba bachelor's then drop one or two years and do when uh, for the masters like main apne bachelor's aur master ke beech mein gap rakhu theek hai so is it worth like industry mein aisa to kuch nahi hota ki aapne apne bachelor's aur master ke beech mein gap rakha hai so you are least considerable or you are more considerable as compared to the normal people who are just doing the regular education like bachelor's master and then job so uh, if i'll see lot of people come to iits for their mtech after their uh, experience in industry it helps them to work on their project better because now they have experience at a ground level they know the problem which they faced in the industry and now you, they can use this experience to work on their project and there are many chances that their project will be better than the other student and also uh, i think that if somebody have an interest in research then surely they have to go for an mtech they do not think that they have taken one or two years of gap and also so if you will see that if uh, every year india produces lakhs of students in btech but there are few thousands which are in mtech they are post graduated that mean so uh, it helps you to beat the competition एंड ऑल्सो अगर आप लोग एक कंपनी में है जो कि एक बी टेक है एक एम टेक है श्योरली आप प्रेफर करेंगे कि हायर एजुकेशन मतलब एक काइंड ऑफ दिमाग में होता है लोगों के कि नॉलेजेबल होगा एक्सपीरियंस होगा एक्सप्लोर किया होगा और if you have done this mtech in from top colleges that's a great point so that's why i uh, always tell students that try to get top iits or top nits try to get a good get score so it doesn't matter that you have taken a break but th that break utilize this break to on your project yeah it means like if we are going for the corporate services okay so this gap will also help us okay like if we are doing any gap okay then in with in this gap we are doing something as a corporate services then we are going for the masters and if we are not interested in our uh, research then again after masters if we are just selecting any job then it would be great okay like the person who will understand that this person has a specific uh, experience right so this experience will definitely count yeah. okay also i have to add one more point ki अब होता क्या है कि हम सर्विस बेस्ड कंपनीज में चले जाते हैं ग्रेजुएशन के बाद जॉब मिल जाती है बट या देर आर नो बेटर अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ फॉर फर्दर ग्रोथ तो क्या होता है कि स्टूडेंट्स स्टक हो जाते हैं जो भी एम्प्लॉय है स्टूडेंट्स है वो स्टक हो जाते हैं तो वॉट स्टूडेंट्स कैन डू दे कैन प्रिपेयर फॉर गेट एंड ऑल्सो देन दे कैन क्रेक गेट एंड गेट एम टेक एंड देन दे कैन एक्सप्लोर द अपॉर्चुनिटीज दे आर आई दर दे वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर हायर एजुकेशन फर्दर एंड ऑल्सो दे कैन गेट अ good placement in product based companies which students always want that's a great uh, i think <laughs> these all information are very relevant and great sakshi so talking from the expert i can conclude is as like uh, if you are the student of the final year then you have a two options okay i understand you have a two options or three options whether you can apply for the gate examination okay you can go for the masters you can go for the psus as well as you can sit in the placement series too so the thing is like uh, if you are interested in placement okay two or three months is much better okay you can conclude everything you can you can learn everything which is required in your placement but if you are seriously uh, interested in the gate examination you have to learn at least 11 or 12 months dedicatedly and you have to cover entirely topic which you have learned in your academics so these two topics these two things are very important and if i'm going if i'm comparing as these two subjects okay these two topics so i can say relatively uh, placement are relatively easy if you are comparing with the gate first second the risk factor is much higher if you are appearing for the gate the risk factor is much lower if you are appearing for the placement series and you have a much better stability if you are appearing for the gate going for the masters choosing a psu examination both will give you the immense amount of stability as well as the financial stability but in the placement series you have to go for you have to check whether the job is stable or not or anything like that but the most important thing you are appearing for the job then you can again switch and go for your master degree too so this all you can this uh, this whole this whole conclusion is very okay and this is a uh, change with the person to person so i can say go and watch this thing you can choose any of this uh, thing according to you and uh, thank you so much sakshi for being in the session these questions are really important and this information are really helpful for the student thank you so much sakshi for being in the session see you guys in the next topic thank you